Hi student, today our chapter is surface area and volume, chapter 30, NCIT, right? So, before going to the questions, we should know the formulas, basic formulas of this chapter. First is cuboid, as you are aware of the cuboid, uh, having a length, breadth, dimensions are length, breadth and height, and the formula of its total surface area is 2 into LB plus BH plus HF. So, this is the formula to find the total surface area of cuboid and how we will find the volume. The formula of volume is length into breadth into height and if you want to find the diagonal, right? So, this is the formula of diagonal uh, in any cuboid that is under root L square plus B square plus H square. And this is the formula of area of four wall that if top and bottom are not included, then we have the area of four wall. The formula of that is 2 into L plus B into X. Now we will come to the cube. Uh, cube, its all surfaces are square and in that in cuboid all surfaces are rectangular. So the volume total surface area of cube is 6A square, right? Because it has six faces like front, back, left. Front, back, left, right, top, and bottom, including six faces. So, area of each face is a square, so that's why total surface area is 6 a square. Right? And volume is a cube, and the length of diagonal will be root 3a, and lateral surface area. Right? So, lateral surface area, again, the top and bottom is not included, so this is 4a square. Now, we come to the cylinder. So, in cylinder, this is height, this is radius. So, what is the formula of total surface area of cylinder? That is 2 pi r bracket x plus r. In total surface area, top and bottom both are included. Right? So, in curved surface area. Okay? In curved surface area, because it has a curved surface, so it's lateral converted into curved, curved face. So, that's why it is called curved surface area. And curved surface area included only the outer area of this cylinder, the formula is 2 pi rx. And what is the volume? Pi r square x. And this is the formula of area of base. Because its base is circle, so that's why we can say pi r square. Now we will come to the right circular cone. Right? It is height, it is radius, and this is called slant height. Right? So in this, first we should know the formula of slant height. By the Pythagoras theorem, you can find it L square equals to R square plus H square. And again, the curved surface area, the outer area of the cone, pi R L, and the total surface area, pi R plus L plus R, in which base is also included. So, volume 1 by 3 pi R square H, and then area of base of the cone is circle, so that's why it is pi R square, and the sphere, right? So sphere is a circle having surface like a coin, like a like a moon. So they all have surface, that's why they call a sphere. So surface area of sphere is 4 pi r square and the volume of sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube r. If we will cut into two parts, we will get a hemisphere. So the formula of hemisphere having surface area will be 2 pi r square. Uh, it also has total surface in which top is also included. So it will become 2 pi r square plus pi r square. So it will become 3 pi r square. And the volume is just half of the sphere that is 2 by 3 pi r cube. Now, uh, this is a shell. This is a spherical shell. Sphere in spherical shell, uh, we have uh, two like a concentric kind of circle. So, in that, if you want to find the area of this spherical shell, uh, having sphere, so it will be 4 pi, it is the top surface of spherical surface. So, area will be 4 pi, capital R square minus small r square, and the volume will be 4 by 3 pi, capital R cube, and small r cube. Now, we come to the last one, that is frustum. Frustum. Is a kind of a bucket shape or a glass shape. You can see if we cut the cone from the top side, 
so we will get a first term. So the volume of first term will be pi by three. We get capital R. Capital R is the uh, radius of the limit radius of the upper part, and the small r is the radius of the lower part. So this is the formula of volume. And lateral surface area pi capital R plus small r into L. Uh, where you can find L by this formula under root R capital R minus small r square plus h square and the total surface area for that top and bottom are included for that we need to add pi capital R square plus pi small r square so uh, if we want to find total surface area without lid like a glass like a bucket shape we need to use this formula in which our top part is not included so this is the formula of the total surface area of first term without lid now we will come to the question so this is our type 1 i will explain you the question according to the type this will be your chapter easy so in this our first question is a vessel is in the form of hollow hemisphere mounted by a hollow cylinder so first we will draw the figure for the same this is our cylinder which is, which is mounted on a hemisphere uh, and by a hollow cylinder and the diameter of hemisphere is given the diameter is 14 centimeter then its radius will be 7 centimeter right and the total height of this vessel from top to bottom is 13 centimeter so if you want to find the height of cylinder it will be 13 minus 7 because this is a you can say the height of hemisphere then the height of cylinder will be 30 minus 7 is 6 so here we need to find the surface area of this vessel so in solution total surface area of vessel if we have this kind of question in that we can see one shape is mounted on the other shape we, in total surface area we always take their curved surface area right so in this CSA of cylinder plus CSA of hemisphere for surface area of hemisphere right so I have explained you the, all the formulas of that so CSA of cylinder is 2 pi RH and hemisphere is 2 pi r square right so we can take 2 pi r as a common because it will be easy to solve if you are doing by this way here you can put the value 2 into 22 by 7 and the radius of both the shape will be same because they are bottom and base is same so here the radius is 7 and the height height is of cylinder so it is 6 and the radius this is the radius radius of the hemisphere that is 7 so you can cancel out 7 by 7 it will be 44 into 13 so it will be 13 4 to 52 and 5 13 4 to 52 to 572 it is the required total surface area of this vessel now we will come to the next type of a question so this is type 2 in type 2 question this is our sec second type of question uh, from a solid cylinder so first we will draw the cylinder right from a solid cylinder of height 
its height is 2.4 cm and the diameter is 1.4 so if diameter is 1.4 then the radius is 0.7 this is the radius right so from here what we have done a conical cavity of a same height and same diameter is follow a conical cavity of same diameter and same height is hollow out means cut out right so this is 0 0.7 so now we need to find the total surface area of the remaining solid for this type of question we will how we will find the total surface area of solid First, we should know the formulas which we will use in this type of question. In this, first we will take the outer surface area of cylinder that is 2 pi Rh plus area of this base that is pi R square and the hollow out shape that is hollow out shape per surface area. This is uh, cone, so it will be pi r l. Now, to solve this, first we will take the common, which will be pi r. So from here, it will be 2h remaining, and here r, and here l. Now we will put the values to solve this. So you can first find the value of L because slant height is not given. So first we will find the value of L. So here the value of L which is the slant height of cone will be R square plus H square, right? So you can see the value of R is 0.7. And the value of H, which is same for both the shape, 2.4, right? So you can see now it will be 0 0.49 and 2.4 square will be 5.76. So if we will add, it will be 6.25. And so the value of L will be 2.5 because square root of 625 is 25 and point is coming after two place in square root so it will be come after one place so now we will put the value in the formula total surface area value of pi 22 by 7 because it is not given in the question so we will take 222 by 7 r is 0 0.7 and 2h, h is same 2.4 plus r which is 0 0.7 and plus l this is 2.5 now we can cancel out it 1 7 and 7 it will be 2.2 now if we will multiply first it will be 4.8 and if we will add this it will be 3.8 2 now you can see 2.2 into 437 or it will be 8 and 8 to the 16 170.6 centimeters square but they were asking us find the area into nearest centimeter square but this value is nearest to 8 inch so the answer you can say will be 18 centimeter square now we will come to the next question. In the next question, before going to the next question, I am dropping this. This is our third type of question. In this, a solid iron pole consists of a cylinder of height of height 220 meter and base diameter is 24. So first I am 
drawing of one cylinder of a given dimension. The height is 220 centimeter and the base diameter is 24, then radius will be 12 centimeter and which is surmounted by another cylinder of a height 60 centimeter and radius is 8. So this is surmounted by one more cylinder. of height 60 cm and the radius is 8 cm. So here we need to find the mass of the pole if it is given 1 cm to pass is 8 gram. So we need to find the mass of the whole solid. So for that first we will find the volume because 1 cm cube is centimeter cube. Uh, we have the formula of volume. So volume of solid. In this solid we have included two shapes of same kind. One is you can write it pi r square h. Capital R for cap. Bigger shape and small r for smaller shape. Now here we can see, we can take pi as a common and capital R is 12 and H is 220 and the small r is 8 and height is 60. So we can 12 square 144 into 220 and 8 square 64 into 60 so now here we need to multiply 144 into 22 it will be 22 4 are 88 2 4 are 88 or 8 96 9 22 1 jar. 9 of 3 1 6 8 so it will be you can 31680 and it now multiply this 6 4 jet 24 2 6 6 jet 36 3 8 0. Now we will add this term and put the value of pi which is 3.14 and now if we will add this we will get 31680 and 3840. So it will be 0 8 or 4 12 9 6 50. 3, 4, 5, it will be 3, 5, 5, 2, 0. Now we will multiply this 3, 5, 5, 2 by 3.14. So this will be 4, 2, 8, 4, 5, 20, 4, 5, 22, 4, 3, 12, 40, 2, 5, 5, 3. Now 3, 2, 6, 3, 5, 2, 15, 3, 5, the 15, 16, 3, 3, 9. So it will be 8, 2, 6, 5, 11, or 2, 13, 10, 14, 15, 69, 10, 11. So this will be 1, triple 1, 5, 3, 2, 8. And point is coming after 2 places. So this is the volume of the given solid. So now we have now volume of one centimeter cube is eight gram. So volume of one one five three point two eight centimeter cube will be eight into 8 upon 1000 we will convert this into kilogram 1153.28 right here we will multiply this by 8 so 8 8 is 64 8 2 is 16 22 8 3 is 24 or 2 26 2 8 5 is 40 42 8 1 is 8 4 12 1 8 1 is 8 or 1 9 8 so this will be 8, 9, 
डबल टू सिक्स टू फोर डिवाइडेड बाय थाउजेंड सो इन डिनोमिनेटर दिस इज थाउजेंड एंड थ्री जीरो सो सो वी कैन टेक पॉइंट आफ्टर थ्री प्लेस इन न्यूमिनेटर दैट विल बी एट नाइन टू टू पॉइंट and here the point is also coming so it will comes after three place so here we can see the answer will be 1 2 3 it will be 89.22 624 we can check 89 115 3 0.2.8. So here the one zero is also coming. So we haven't put the zeros there. So it will be this. Now the decimal will come after three place one two three. So this will be eight nine two point two six two four. Kilogram, right? So this is our required answer of this solid iron core, right? Now we will come to the next question. It is of next type of question. So this is our next type of question. In this question, you can see a metallic sphere. A metallic sphere of radius four point two centimeter is melted, melted and recast into A shape of cylinder of radius six centimeter. Then find the height of cylinder. In this type of question, you can see one shape is recast into another shape. So in this type of question, we will equate the volume of both the shape. Volume of sphere is converted into volume of cylinder. Right? So we know. The formula of sphere is four by three pi r cube, and volume of cylinder is pi r square x. Because the radius are different, we can assume it like r one. So here we can cancel out pi by pi, and so four by three, and the radius of sphere is. Given 4.2 into 4.2 into 4.2, and the radius of cylinder is 6 into 6 into x. So from here we need to find x. So we can take this 6 into the denominator of other side because they are in multiply. So we need to take them into the denominators. So we can cancel out six seven zero forty two one decimal after one place six seven zero forty two and even we can cancel out four point two by three it will be three one zero three three four zero twelve so here we can multiply now four into point seven into point seven point forty nine and one point four. So we can multiply four into one point four, fourteen four zero fifty six into zero point four nine. Now we can multiply these two terms: five point six into zero point forty nine, nine six zero fifty four, nine five zero forty five fifty, four six zero twenty four, two twenty twenty two. So it will be four four seven two. Decimal is coming after three place. So it will be two point seven four four centimeter is the height, right? Now we will come to the next question. Next question is a uh, well. In this question, you can see a well of diameter is the fourteen centimeter deep. A well. Is of cylindrical shape. It is dug fourteen centimeter deep, right? Fourteen meter. 
40 meter deep and earth is taken out, earth from this well is taken out and spread has been spread evenly all around it in the and dug out 40 meter deep and its diameter is diameter 3 meter diameter is 3 then the radius will be 1.4 meter right and this uh, from this well the earth is taken out and spread it like a ring shape it is the top view of this well so this is its radius and its width is increasing about 4 meter so it will be 5.5 meter radius from the center right so this is the top view of the arch which is taken off and spreading all around it so because of that its embankment is created so we need to find the height of the embankment which formed so in this type of question we will take the formula volume of earth dug out which is equal to the volume of embankment embankment Volume of R dug out is from well, so it is of cylindrical shape, it will be pi r square h. Now, the volume of embankment, you can see in the embankment, the top view is like a ring, so its volume will become like pi r capital R minus small r into h dash. h dash will be the height of the embankment. Right, so we can cancel out pi by pi, and the small r is 1.5 square, and height is 40 equals to capital R 5.5 square, and small r is 1.5 square into h dash. So here it will be 1.5, 1.5 into 40, and you can see. Uh, the identity you can use a square minus b square so it will be a plus b so it then first we will add 5.5 plus 1.5 will become 7 and if we will subtract it will become 4 into h dash so h dash equals to 1.5 into 1.5 into 40 upon 7 into 4 because 7 are and 4 go to the denominator. Now we will cancel out this 7 to the 14, 2 to the 4, right? So here it will be 2.25 upon 2. Now if we will cancel out it, 2 1 the 2, 2 1 the 2, 2 2 the 4. This is the height of the required embankment, right? Now we will come to the next type of question. In the next type of question. So this is the last type of question. In this question you can see a drinking glass which is in the shape of cluster. Those height and two radius are given. So, so we are aware of the frustum shape. It is like this. It has two end. One is smaller end and one is bigger end. So its total height is 14 cm and the, the two diameters are 1 is 4 and 1 is 2 so the radius of the bigger end will be 2 cm and the smaller end will be 1 cm. So here we need to find the capacity of glass. To find the capacity we should know the formula of the volume. So here the volume of Glass, frustum glass, frustum shape glass. So 
we are well aware of the formula that is 5h by 3 bracket capital R square plus small r square plus capital R into small r. Here capital R is the radius of the bigger end and small r is the radius of the smaller end and the value of pi we are putting it 22 by 7 and the height is 40 and this is 3 and the capital R is 2 square small r is 1 square capital R into small r 2 into y. We can cancel out 2 7 to the 40 it will be 44 by 3 and from here we will get 2 1 2 2 to 4 or 1 5 so this will be 44 into 5 by 3 so we can find it 5 4 the 20 5 4 the 20 2 2 0 by 3 so you can see any problem there we can see pi h and capital R it will be 2 square associated it will be 4 4 or 1 5 or 2 7 so this will be 7 4 or 28 7 4 or 28 3 0 8 by 3, you can convert it into mixed form. It will be like 308, 3 1 the 3, 0, or 3 2 the 6. So it will be 1 0 2 is to 2 by 3 centimeter cube is the capacity of this glass. Right now, we will come to the next question. In the next question, we can see. So, in this question, a fetch cap used by Turks is in the shape of thruster. So, fetch cap is something like this. Right? Its upper end is closed. Right? And open from the bottom end. And if its radius on the open side is 10, that is this side. And radius of the upper base is 4, it is 4 cm. It is smaller, it is capital R. And its slant height is 15, that is this side. Then find the area of the material used. So for this, we will use the formula area of used. Here we will use the total surface area without base will be pi L bracket capital R plus small r plus pi small r square because upper end is smaller part so that's why we are taking this. So if we take pi as a common so we can get this is 50 remaining and Capital R plus small r, 10 plus 4, and from here it will be 4 square, 4 into 4. So you can see 15 into 14 plus 4, 4, 16. So you can put the value there now. 15 into 14, 14, 5 ja, 70, 14, 1 ja, 14 or 7, 2, 1, 0 plus 16 so we can see it will be like 22 multiplied 2 2 6 upon 7 now if you will multiply 2 2 6 2 2 6 by 22 it will be 2 6 at 12 4 5 2 2 the 4 2 5 4 it will be 2 7 9 4 it will be 4972. We can convert this as a, as a mixed form. So, in a mixed form, we can use, we can divide it 4972 by 7, 7, 7 is 49, 7, 1 is 7, if 2 is remaining, so it will be 0. So, the, that will be 710 is to 2 by 
seven centimeter square. I think this is the required area of the fetch gap. So this is all about this chapter. We have discussed all type of question uh, from this chapter.